I didn't even know that. that <laughs> it means that most of John's animations were the ones that got cut. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, and the uh, cut is in Double Super, awesome. and um, the beatdown was a derivative of. Yeah, like your level three is a derivative of that. But yeah, okay. so um, actually, Peacock was the third character we did, and most of the stuff that we wasted came from Cerebella, Peacock, and like one thing from Parasol. Billy was Jab also. Different. Oh, well, oh, that's because yeah. we redrew it. That's different. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, so as we w as we got better, like, Painwheel Fortune uh, didn't... Valentine. We didn't... Well, yeah, Valentine. Um, we didn't draw anything that we didn't use. Like, so it improved over the course of the project, but that's also unheard of on projects. <laughs> like, having a, having a whole thing get produced where you use every bit of it is, like, magic. Um, just to continue on the producer point, um, so for everyone, it was a learning experience. Um, if you sense bitterness in this, there is some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you might have heard from Mariel, it started out four or five months for a character. Now we're down to like two months or like six weeks yeah, for yeah. Valentine. Six weeks wasn't good. No, that right, one, yeah, good. it wasn't reasonable. <laughs> uh, but um, so I think that. That's something that was in our advantage, um, just having to get that experience. That, that's why I, I feel a lot more confident for DLC characters will definitely be able to work on a more timely schedule. Uh, I, I hear a big, there's a big <laughs> um, internet meme for, uh, for uh, Skullgirls saying that things will come out two weeks after, oh, yeah. <laughs> after yeah, when's the announced? Xbox patch? Two weeks. Don't worry about it. When's yeah, the PC it, version? Two weeks. Two weeks. When was the last time you asked? Two weeks from that. <laughs> <laughs> and like two weeks lasted for like nine months or yeah. something ridiculous. Well, <laughs> time dilation, right? <laughs> right. We just move really fast. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, definitely, I think for future stuff, we'll probably be a lot more organized, just because we have more experience working with the team, and um, I'm sure we'll probably still look into getting a producer. At Right? No? Yes? Uh, Maybe? Who are you asking? I don't know. Yeah. I guess that would be another person's question. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Producer costs more money, though. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, any uh, other questions? Uh, lots of people. Uh, you had a... It sounded like you had 100 on the art side. How many do you have on the technical side? Uh, we had... I can count. Let's see. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Uh, seven at various degrees of contribution. So I did 100% uh, of the character scripting and tuning and everything, and I also wrote most of the render, and I also wrote most of the, most of the engine before the project started. Um, we had a networking guy who was awesome and who I would really appreciate back again. He's up here somewhere. What? Yeah, oh, is he? Yeah. He's at Google right now. Ooh. Oh, you didn't hear? Yeah, he's at Google. I was oh. actually talking about the other networking oh, guy. Okay. Yeah, so we had we had a networking guy, which was, like, server-side stuff and commerce and all the junk you have to deal with that has nothing to do with actually networking your game. And then we also had a networking guy that was matchmaking and that stuff. Um, and we had an AI scripter who also... Uh, did lots of Python and lots of other very helpful things for us. So even if you can't program, uh, if you know Python and Perl, you are a huge asset to any team that needs anything because scripts are man's best friend. Screw dogs. <laughs> um, and then we also had uh, the CTO of Reverge who helped out in various ways, and I'm just going to leave it at that because otherwise I would say things that were not nice. Um, and we had the aforementioned producer who ended up becoming a programmer later on that did stuff. Um, and then we had to wrestle with the UI tool, which was a whole other amazing part. But yes, so seven. Uh, with three of them being full-time and the other ones contributing what they could. Uh, there were other people that were already raising their hands. Oh, uh, what was like the most uh, stressful or frustrating thing you guys had to deal with before the game came out? <laughs> no. <laughs> let's, let's just go with office politics. Next question. What was, and for the 
for the people who couldn't hear because it's the microphone. What was the most stressful or frustrating thing? Because I remember you're supposed to do this. What was the most stressful or frustrating thing you had to deal with when, before the game came out? Uh, for me, 100% office politics. And you guys can have separate answers because uh, they can all be 100% me. <laughs> <laughs> I think for us it was, it was just that we had a deadline every few months and you know, toward the end of every character was ridiculous crunch time. And you know what, though? I think um, that also money dropped parts way through the project at we points. We would have to take Every... I, should I say this? What? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. All right. <laughs> okay, well, um, every few months, uh, we would have a Monday meeting uh, where our, uh, we were all told that we have not been paid, and if we don't get money by next week, you are all laid off. Uh, that happened like five or six times. And, and we kept on working anyway. Yeah, we. I mean, we kept on working, and it didn't. It didn't actually happen until June of last year. But. But there were like three months where, like a total of three months where we were working and not paid. Mm. So that was a decent issue. Uh, also, these mics are really good at not picking up things from the side. Get crappier ones next time. Uh, uh so. The first, the first couple times it was stressful, and then toward. Toward the end, it was comedic? <laughs> toward the end, it was like, yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, we toward, stopped. Toward we stopped the end, caring. it was like, well, we're going to finish the game anyway, so just tell us whether we're going to be paid or not. Yeah. Uh, but I, I also wanted to mention, um, like, so, so characters were stressful toward the end of every character, but we also, um, we finished animating uh, pretty much everything in, like, November, December, and after that, we actually had to go back and wrestle with uh, the story mode for all the characters. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, and and that, that was hard because we had been working on the game for like a year and a half, and no, we hadn't really tackled the story mode until the last several months of the game. Um, so, do you want to talk about it? Uh, I mean, I, yeah, you want to, you're the one Everybody gets your yeah, 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 everyone gets yeah, to yeah, say yeah. something. Script writing and all that stuff as well. Story this is an excellent question, by the way. Because <laughs> we love complaining. <laughs> story mode is awful. Like, I had a month to do all of it. And, and we, didn't, we didn't have a UI tool. Okay, we had a UI tool. It was not designed to handle the things that we needed to do with it. Yeah. And we didn't get any tech support, basically. So, like, yeah, in the game, you know, the life meters or the menus or everything? That's a tool that wasn't made to do stories or motion graphics or anything. It was made for, you know, UI elements, not for game. Now, to use that... And oh, I can't even. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he has nightmares. I'm not even kidding. Uh. And there, there were small things that I was able to do to fix it. Like they had a problem where they couldn't insert more than a hundred frames at once. Oh my God. And for, so for like for like three three weeks, they were building like ten thousand frame animations by adding a hundred frames at a time. So right click 100 frames out, right click 100 frames out. Like no, because you couldn't type in, like what it turned out to be was the, the, the input box had a had code right after you typed it that limited it to 100. And like, as soon as you mentioned that to me, I went in and I was like, okay, maximum is now 1 million. And like, okay, yeah, I, that would have saved me two weeks, but because of office politics, it was never changed. And I, so I just bitched about it to Mike one day. And he was like, oh, I'll fix that for you. And now then, we're mature. And then, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, another thing. Um, it cannot be overestimated the importance that office politics will play in projects that you have. I'm not going to complain about individual people, but I will say this. Uh, office politics and toxic coworkers can be crippling to a project because what they mean is if they're supposed to do something and no one wants to talk to them about how they're supposed to do it, other people end up changing it after they do it or interfering with them doing it because it should be done some other way. Or if they're part of a communication channel, then like if, I don't know, if no one wanted to talk to Vince, everyone wanted to talk to Vince because he's awesome, but like if no one wanted to talk to Vince, then it would just be, we need these sounds done, get them done. And then they would come back and everybody would like go to lunch and be like, oh, these are terrible, but we can't talk to Vince about it because it'll get really defensive. So it, office politics, uh, and this is everywhere. I mean, like every project has their grouch or whatever, but office politics, depending on who it is and how difficult they are, 
can have a huge impact on absolutely every other part of the project. Um, and they totally did for this one. Uh, going end, down, end of story. Going Continue. Down, going down the line. Yeah, Thanks. Vince. What do you hate? What do I hate? No, I, it's going to be well, me. No, 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 no. As, as crazy, <laughs> I am, I know, as, as uh, tough as the whole project was, um, uh, I mean, I honestly, the thing that I disliked the most was not being on the first floor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And you had it easy. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no. I mean, like, so basically the way that the office was set up, I was up on the second floor in this sort of lofted area. But all the guys that I really needed to deal with were on the bottom floor. Like, okay, story mode and sound stuff. Okay, John. John's on the first floor. Mike. Mike was on the first floor. And I would, like, and I was working with headphones. And I'd be like, I don't want to work with the headphones because I can't hear what's going on downstairs. And so I'd always be, like, you know, taking off headphones and, Every now and then, I'd, be, I'd like hear something and I'd stand up and be like, "What? What? Oh, you know? is that First world problems." <laughs> I was wondering why you always stood up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd see him like pop up and look around the office and like. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, there was a yeah, and oh, the not getting paid thing was really pretty. Bad. That also kind of um, sucked. But um, we're used to it now. Yeah, we've been working without well, being paid for nine months. <laughs> yeah. Well, not Vince, sure. Uh, the, the, the thing. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm accepting of a lot of stuff. I'm a glutton for punishment, so. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, just sort of echoing the thing about uh, uh, office politics, you know. Even if you're not involved in them. Oh, God. Because um, he wasn't, really. It's Well, I tried my best to sort of skate, and it was a little bit... Uh, I mean, I kind of saw how things were before I entered in full time, so I, I kind of had an idea of how to skate. Did it look like one of those cartoon balls where there's just like dust and feet and fists flying around? Uh, Peacock has yeah, yeah, Peacock's air throw. Yeah. yeah, a little bit like that. Okay. Uh, but but I had an idea of how to skate around things, and so I, I did my best with that, which which I think also uh, made me perhaps a little less integrated. Uh, and just trying to do that, but you know that whole office politics thing. Basically, when you, when you have a company, you're dealing with a business and you're dealing with a game, and those are two very separate things. And this was an interesting case with this game where, you know, business guys cared about the business, and of course, game guys cared about the game. And there, were, you know, the ideal situation for any game production is when you have. Um, lots of individuals that care deeply about both the business and the game, and then um, there's a there's a good chance of both of them surviving. But I think um, in this case, you had a lot of people that were on two separate sides, and look at what happened. We made a game that got an 82. We, we did, <laughs> and then we got laid off. So yeah, that happened before we made the game get the 82. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Rich? I got a lot. No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I actually skirted a lot of the office politics because I had this little kind of cave that, I, that <laughs> was in the corner of the office, and I was away from everyone that I didn't want to talk to. It wasn't very well lit. It smelled no, kind of weird. It, it was like it was really nice, and no one could see what's on my screen, so I could be doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why cleanup took so long? Yes, that's why I took the most amount of time. No, uh, the, the thing that was most stressful for me uh, was the end. The end was very fun for cleanup because. <laughs> oh yeah, because fun everybody else is done already. Yeah. So what happens was uh, we were working concurrently on three characters at the very end: uh, Valentine. Um, Double and it, parts of Marie. Uh, Her feet. <laughs> um, so all, all of that was working, being worked by like a bunch of different animators. And anim so it goes concept, animation, cleanup. And so I can't give the cleanup people any more work than they can possibly do because, you know, that's just the limit of how much they can do, right? So what ends up happening is... Uh, Animation rushes, and then at the very end, cleanup has to rush. And cleanup got just like a hundred different assignments, like a bunch of different animations from different different uh, animators. And 
Uh, usually, I like to go through every one of them and go, hey, this one looks a little off on this frame, or this